Cold showers and cold water immersion have become increasingly popular. Dutch fitness influencer Wim the Iceman Hoff is doing it. Hair and beauty creator Holly Willoughby is doing it. And all serious athletes are doing it too. But before you jump into your local icy pond, watch this video. I'll delve into the five science-backed benefits and four potential risks of cold showers, so keep watching. Also, like this video and subscribe to this channel. Let's get started. 1. Recovery from high-intensity exercise A study published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research found that a cold water shower after high-intensity cycling in the heat can aid in recovery. The explanation is a mix of cardiovascular and hormonal benefits. The thermic shock of cold showers can lower your heart rate and cortisol levels, thus aiding recovery. Another benefit is reducing inflammation. High-intensity exercise like heat or strength training can produce muscle and joint inflammation. Ice is already known for reducing inflammation. Therefore, a cold shower after an intense workout can help you recover faster. That means you can squeeze in more intense workouts during the week to achieve your fitness goals. 2. Weight loss Although there is limited scientific evidence, some studies suggest that cold showers may aid in weight loss. Here's the thinking behind that one. When you have an icy cold shower, your body temperature goes down. This is called non-shivering thermogenesis, which means that your body starts to produce heat differently. Your body starts to activate and expand brown and beige adipose tissue, which is the good fat that helps to keep you warm. It also activates pathways in your muscles, which can increase your metabolism. That means your body burns more calories even when you're not doing anything. Studies have been done to see if cold showers can help people lose weight, but the results have been mixed. Some studies have shown that taking cold showers can reduce obesity and metabolic disease, but other studies have found that the effects are unclear. It's important to remember that cold showers are not a magic solution for weight loss and should not be relied on as the sole weight loss method. It's also interesting to know that taking cold showers can affect your gut microbiome, which is the community of microorganisms that live in your gut. Studies have shown that cold exposure can change the composition of your gut microbiome and even help improve exercise performance and prevent diabetes. Overall, while taking cold showers may not be a magic solution for weight loss, they can be a fun and healthy way to boost your metabolism and keep your body healthy. 3. Potential Treatment for Depression An article in Science Direct suggests that adapted cold showers may benefit depression. Further studies are needed to validate this claim, but here's what the study suggests. One theory is that depression might be caused by a lack of certain stressors, like brief changes in our body temperatures. These physiological stressors have accompanied our lives through millennia of evolution. But since we're now living indoors in smart cities and wearing night, we don't experience them anymore. That's why some scientists think people with depression might not get enough thermal exercise. Another theory is that people with depression might have a different brain chemistry than people without depression. This can make it hard for them to feel happy and positive. To test these theories, this study exposed people to adaptive cold showers at 20 degrees Celsius for 2-3 to three minutes, preceded by 5 minutes of adaptation. The authors believe that taking cold showers might help our bodies stay healthy and strong and help our brains work better. And there's plenty of other anecdotal evidence for that too. A young woman named Sarah had been feeling anxious and depressed since she was 17 years old. When she was 24, she started swimming in open water every week. Over time, her symptoms improved and she could stop taking medicine. A year later, her doctors discovered that even though she wasn't swimming as much, she still felt less anxious and depressed. This shows that swimming may be a valid way to help some people with anxiety and depression. 4. Improved Immune Function Cold showers may improve immune function by providing a shock to the body. One study examined 3,000 people between 18 and 65 years old who had never taken a cold shower. They were randomly put into one of four groups, a hot shower group, a cold shower group, a hot to cold shower group, or a control group. The study lasted 60 days, during which the participants showered daily. The researchers wanted to see if taking a shower at a different temperature would make people less likely to get sick. At the end of the study, the researchers found that people who took cold showers had 29% fewer sick days and were less likely to miss work than those in the control group. 
The researchers also looked at other things like quality of life, anxiety, and how people felt about the temperature, and they found that taking cold showers had other benefits too. There's more. A group of researchers in the Netherlands did a study to see if people could strengthen their immune systems voluntarily. They asked people to practice deep breathing and meditation, and some also tried taking cold showers. When the participants were exposed to a bacterial infection, those who followed the above protocol had fewer symptoms. Their bodies made fewer cytokines that exacerbate the illness and more anti-inflammatory chemicals to fight the disease. While breathing was the best technique in the study, the researchers thought that cold immersion had positive long-term effects. 5. More Energy and Cognitive Benefits Some research shows that cold showers stimulate your sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is a part of our body that helps us deal with stressful situations. It's like our body's built-in alarm system. And stimulating it means it can respond better to stress. The same study claims that cold showers also increase the production of noradrenaline and endorphins. These chemicals make you feel energized and happy. Besides, this research claims that exposing your body to cold water sends some electrical signals to the brain that can also improve energy levels. Another study with 82 participants shows that cold showers improve memory, mood, and energy. And those are all reasons why my favorite influencer, Dr. Andrew Huberman, also uses cold showers in his morning routine. That brings us to the next point. Dangers of cold showers. Based on current research, there are four potential dangers of cold showers. 1. Increased cardiovascular stress. Cold showers can put added stress on your heart and may lead to an irregular heartbeat or arrhythmia. Sudden exposure to cold water can cause your heart rate and blood pressure to increase. If you experience that, try breathing slowly and consciously. 2. Risk of hypothermia and frostbite. Oh god, you wouldn't belong getting frostbite. Overexposure to cold water, especially if not properly warmed up afterward, can lead to hypothermia and frostbite. It's important to be mindful of the temperature and duration of cold showers to avoid these risks. 3. Weakened immune system. Cold showers may temporarily weaken the body's defense system as blood flow is reduced. This can make the body more susceptible to infections and illnesses. And that's the immunological paradox of cold showers. While cold water exposure strengthens you in the long run, it can affect you negatively in the short run. It's essential to note that these risks may vary depending on individual health conditions and the duration and temperature of the cold shower. It's always a good idea to consult a healthcare professional before significantly changing your shower routine. 4. Muscle Cramping Cold showers can provoke muscle cramping due to the narrowing of blood vessels, also known as vasoconstriction. This vasoconstriction helps rid the body of lactic acid, a byproduct of exercise that can cause muscle soreness. When the blood vessels constrict, it reduces the blood flow to the muscles, leading to muscle tension and cramping. This is why some people may experience muscle spasms or contractions after a cold shower. That said, what do you think of cold showers? Have you tried taking one yet? Let me know how that went in the comments. But first, like this video and subscribe to this channel so we can grow our fitness D community.